Welcome everyone to Class 1A. My name is Dylan, bringing you another My Hero Academia chapter breakdown. This week we have chapter 370, History. We kick off the chapter with Spinner, who is remembering his childhood where he was assaulted and harassed for his heteromorphic quirk. Back in front of Central Hospital, Giga Spinner is leading an army of heteromorphs and sympathetic citizens to break out Kurogiri. Now, this is such an interesting angle. I absolutely love it because there is a lot of problems with hero society, and this is the thing I've been going back to constantly. There are real problems with hero society that need to be addressed, and sometimes the heroes don't address them. Now, why I really like this angle is because it is one of those things. One of those things that heroes kind of ignore and they don't really talk about, but is a real problem with the society. And AFO is essentially saying here, I'm going to exploit this because people really care about this issue. So in essence here, the heteromorphs are correct. There is issues going on that they're not being addressed. The only underlying issue with this though, obviously, is that AFO, the big bad villain at the end of the day, is the one controlling them. This is exactly what I would expect out of AFO's plans, taking a real problem and then exploiting it for his own gains. And we also talk about this problem quite a bit in the manga. We've had several different chapters that kind of went into this a little bit with Spinner. Like he's, it's always come up just a couple of times, just a little bit, just enough to plant the seeds. And not to even mention Vigilantes that goes into this quite a bit as well. Then, as the mob closes in, Coda gets trapped and they rip off his mask and call him a traitor to his kind. But above the mob is another PFL member we've seen before, seemingly coordinating this effort. Really, really good angle here. Obviously, like this is another person who is like kind of pulling the strings, who might have like a real attachment to it, obviously, because he's a heteromorph, but at the end of the day, it's still being controlled by AFO. And I really like the idea of using Spinner as their symbol here because out of all the different villains, he's been the most high profile one out of all of them. And not only that, he has a really good cause. He's always been one of the villains championing Stain from the very, very early on. And that is the one that like people, just normal society could relate to the most. And it's really interesting the way that they paint this light of saying like, yeah, in the big city, things are fine because that's a melting pot and people learn and people have grown for over time. But in the rural areas, None of this has happened. Like there still is that huge divide between these two groups of people. And then we also learn about an apparent massacre that took place on 6-6 that they all rally behind here. I don't think that's come up in the story before. I think that's just kind of a mention of history, but if it has come up in the story and I completely missed it, definitely let me know. Though his thoughts are blurring, Spinner is ready to lead the charge with his swords, but not before Soji leads in front with some real Jojo's ass punches. The crowd encircles Soji, but he won't take this laying down. So we end the chapter with our first shot of Soji's face. And I am loving this. We knew it was coming. We knew a face reveal was eventually coming and it, it, and it rocks. I mean, he's exactly, I think, what we all thought he was gonna look like. I don't know if we thought he was gonna look really any different than this, but he looks sick. And like I said, this is the stuff I really wanted out of this arc of seeing like AFO take all the problems with hero society and really underscore them and use them for his own gains. But not only that, but then to see the same heroes fight for the same things, but on the other side and actually for good because they want to protect society because they want to push society forward is incredible. Like I love the dichotomy there. So the question is, what are we going to have up next? I think it's pretty easy. I think we're going to stay with this for just a little bit. We're probably going to see a little bit about Soji's backstory because we got a little shot there. I think we might go into it a little bit more, but regardless, boy, there's going to be an epic fight between Spinner and Soji. And it's going to be great. And whatever happens there is going to affect whatever's going to happen in, at UA. I think, I think Hiragiri might just get released here and we're going to have some, some real stuff pop off. But that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next class.